the smiling assassin, Daniel. Lion, Lani, the smiling assassin, Daniels, with the unanimous decision victory over Sequita Hemingway. Absolutely cracking fight. Next up, we have Joshua Tai versus Viliami Liavaha. Tai fighting out of Chris Martin Gym and Liavaha representing Glossia Boxing. Australia and also Canada. Without further ado, please welcome who's fighting out of the ring corner, Joshua Pacheco Well, Joshua Tai, he is one of my all-time favorite fighters. He's got an extensive kickboxing uh, background and experience, and he transitioned to the boxing. He's always been, him and all his brothers, they constantly switch. They fight the toughest guys in, in each um, you know, respective sport. They'll swap from boxing to Muay Thai to kickboxing. They take on whoever thinks they're the toughest guy in each, in each sport and in each category. So full credit to him. He takes on anyone, anywhere. Doesn't matter who they are. If they're in his weight class, he's game. He he's just had, loves to fight. He just loves to fight. Him and his two brothers, Jordan and, and Daniel, both the, the whole family. They're just the family of fighters. Viliami, extensive amateur background, Golden Gloves champ, really, really impressive fighter, high skill level, very fast, explosive, technical, high fight IQ, you name it, he's got it, he's, he's just an all-rounder. Pro boxing experience-wise, there seems to be a different level of experience here between these two fighters, so Viliami Liavaha, in the blue corner has two professional wins on his record. Whereas Joshua the Jackal Tai has 19 professional fights, five wins, 14 losses. The, the, whilst that record, you look at it and you think, oh, 14 losses, that's not amazing. The ring experience gained from those 19 fights and those 14 losses are nothing to turn your nose up at, Steve. Oh, for sure. But one thing worth mentioning with Joshua Tai is that he is on a three fight losing streak. That's His, right. He, he had three fights in 2021. He lost all three, but prior to that, he hadn't fought for five years. Yeah. And he had some really, really hard fights against Jerome Pampelon, who is an absolute killer. Arguably number one ranked fighter in New Zealand right now, so for this weight division. And he was game. He was in there with him. He took him. He took Jerome to deep waters. Tai versus Viliami Liavaha. Initially, when they were stood in their separate corners, I thought there might have been a bit of weight disparity no, there. No, no. But when they're stood up next to each yeah. other, it's, it's quite clear that they're very evenly heighted and weighted. Yeah. Joshua is a nugget of muscle. He's very solid, very dense. Viliami's very confident. Yeah. got a cobra-like jab. Yep. I, uh, I don't know if that, I mean, yep. that's obviously not the official term for it, but... Yep. This is going to be a really, really interesting fight. Viliami with that extensive amateur background. Josh with a really extensive professional experience.
Leovaha applying the pressure early, but you can see Josh He's very Tai. Fast. He's very fast. He's got a lot of grit, a lot of toughness. Josh is 35 just, years old. Yeah. Josh is very tenacious, very... Um, He's just, yeah, like his name, the Jackal, it suits him so well because he's just right in there with you the whole time. He'll take you to those deep waters. He'll test your heart. He'll test your chin. He'll test everything. And if anything isn't up to par, he'll expose it. Nice quick jab there from Ty. Leavaa, very Leo fast. Leo. When I've seen him fight, he's just been super explosive, super fast. He's just so quick to get in and out, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's his thing. He's just so, he's just blisteringly fast. Lovely head movement. Big shorts. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. See, Ty's going to make this a scrap, isn't he? He is, yes. You can see he, was, he wasn't keen to let go of that no. headlock. Well, you see in other, in other fights, the, the ref says break, and they break, and they get tagged up. Yeah. So he'd rather wait. He's an uh, experienced veteran. Exactly. Like we said, that experience is going to count for a lot in this fight. He'd rather wait for the ref to come in. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. <laughs> oh! oh! Big left hand! From oh. Billy Army Leovaha that was drops massive. Joshua that and Jack massive. and Ty. He's that getting back massive. to his feet. Yeah, yeah. Josh has got heart, he's got toughness, but flip that came out of nowhere. That was so a huge quick, looping lift. Leovaha smells blood. Yeah, he's, he's going for it. Ty firing back. Yeah, he'll go out on the shield. He'll Leovaha's go out on the shield. Got 20 seconds to end it in the first round. Oh, lovely rip to the body after the nice one-two. Ty holding on for dear life. He's got to listen to the riff. Leovaha's got to listen to the riff. Wow. Big knockdown <laughs> in that first round, Steve. That, was a, that, that almost came from his waist and looped right up through the guard in the middle there. So it precise, so, so clean. Crazy. Head movement sensation. Oh, it's incredible, isn't it? Oh, no. okay. it, was a, it was like a jab. Yeah. It was like a popping jab. But look at Ty, he didn't give up. It looked like a left uppercut. Yeah, Ty is so tough. Him and his brothers, you know, they'll get dropped, they'll get back up, they'll come back, they'll drop their opponent back. Yeah, it was, yeah. was like, kind of like a half uppercut, half jab. Yeah, that was beautiful. Pop right on the chin. Just landed. And he was right lunging forward. The... So it just went through his head and out yeah. the other side. And amazing technique there. But setting it up with a straight right as well yeah, was... Yeah. yeah. Wow. Ty's not messing about. Mm. Lovely combination. Leovaha sort of shrugs yeah. it off, but yeah. Ty put the work in. Yeah, and I want to see Ty take this into deep waters. I want to see him turn this into a bit of a dog fight. See what Leovaha's got. Yeah, he is making it a dog fight. He's yeah. going to make it uncomfortable for Leovaha. Yeah, and that's exactly what he has to do. He's Dirty boxing. He's got to show him something he hasn't seen before. This isn't the amateurs anymore. No. <laughs> this is the pros. Wow. Really impressed by Leovaha there, though, under that pressure. Yep, yep. Nice one, too. Didn't quite reach. Nice inside yeah, just uppercuts. From sneaky little uppercuts there, isn't it? We've sent yeah. th th those have been a big part of the game plan for oh, most of the fighters on the card. Yeah. But we've, we we see them work. I mean, oh, wow. Mike Tyson. Josh tagging him there. Mike Tyson used to employ them regularly and that's knock right. fighters out yeah, with them. That's right. Yeah. He was able to get that leverage, pivot off, get that leverage. This is 
This is great. Immense from pressure Josh. from Ty. Yeah. Just really pouring it on. And this is exactly what he has to do. Two minutes to go. One minute to go. He's not giving him any room to move. Not at all. So he's calibrated that Leo Vaz is dangerous on the outside. And he's gone, nope. I'm going to pin you against the ropes. And I'm going to make this a dog yeah. fight. This is what I like. absolutely what he needs to do. And I think yeah. potentially, argue, arguably, winning this round with That's it, right. Steve. Yeah. Unless the Avata can, can come out of this. Would Lance. that first round have been scored a 10-8 because yes. of the knockdown? Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Really impressed with Ty in this second yeah. round. Yeah, this is exactly what he needs to do. I mean, Leo Vaha, look, yeah, he's yeah. smiling. He seems unfazed by this, but, oh, Ty's bloody now. That'll probably be from before. The blood might be just coming out now. Nice right hand by wow. Leo Vaha. Oh, oh, another lovely right. Did the left land off? Was the, I, I, think was the left, so I think it was the same movement, the same technique. Wow. That's got to be disappointing Blistering for Ty because fast. he was arguably winning that round. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. a way to end it. Wow. Leobar. And he's shown how dangerous he yeah, is on the is. outside, Leo yeah. So Josh needs to keep him up against those ropes. Yeah. He kind of got like, mentally, he kind of got a little bit like, okay, maybe oh. I should back away. Because Leobar was kind of laughing at him yeah. a little bit, you know. I think oh, the Leo most Vaha impressive thing about Leo Vaha nice. is his speed. And he's so smooth as well. Yeah, so it's 10 8, 10 8 now. It's effortless. effortless. Was oh. that the right? It was the right. No, I think it was we the need lift. to see that again. I think it was a lift. Here it is. Wait, wait. Again, look here. Yeah. Oh, it was the left, it yeah. Was the lift. It was a Again same from technique. underneath. Yeah. It, was like a, it was a 2 1. But it's kind of like a popping 2 1. You see here? Pop, boom. Yeah. Beautiful. Just a short little. The exact same combination that he used in the first wow. round to knock him down. And it's the lunging of the motion, too. That's what makes it he so He hit that left so well. I mean, I watched yeah. that three times and I couldn't yeah. see it. <laughs> Sheesh. A lot of adjustments Lovely, need to be jab. made here for Josh. Yeah. His and left eye is swelling up. And it makes you unconfident to throw or even trade with, with Leo Vaha when you keep getting dropped like that. Oh, so crisp. Oh, ho, 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 ho. He's, he is. Like, crisp is just yeah. the perfect word for so him. Explosive. So explosive, so fast. Just. Oh, nice wow. combo from Ty. That's got a rock the Avaha a little bit. Yeah, but he just nods it off, shakes it off. That's the thing. Josh, Jordan, Daniel, they don't care. They just keep throwing. You can shake your head all you want, but they're still there. Ooh. They're still going to try and tag you. They're still going to put power on those shots. There was a nice little uppercut on the back foot from Leo Vaha there. Swinging, tying him up. Oh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, look, he's straight back at exactly yeah. what he needs yep. to do. That's right. And where he was finding so much success in the second round. Just rough him up a bit. But Leo Vaha, is, he's unfazed, and he's picking his shots well. He's yeah. landing every every time, every time Ty is throws. throwing these big power shots. Leo Vaha is just chipping away at him. Yeah, he's got to dip his head off to that side after that two comes. Otherwise, he's going to get tagged with that left again. And he needs to not let Leo Vaha push him out into range. And this is tough for Josh because his nose is bleeding profusely. Yeah. So that's going to take away from his gas tank too. Oh, heavy shots. Look at the movement from Leo yeah. Like, wow. Ty holding on. Yep. 50 seconds remaining in the third round. Is Leo Vaha going <laughs> to wait until the last knock into the round oh, to potentially. It's 40 pull off something left special this round. again? I wouldn't be surprised. Josh needs to be super tight with his guard now. Super tight. It's just that that 2-1. Yes, he threw it again. Yeah. He threw it again. But Josh was aware of it now. 
which is great. Good to see. He's not too rocked that he's able to. He's not able to gauge when that's coming. He's applying the pressure with that left yeah, shoulder yeah, and then coming awesome. in with the right uppercut. Oh, Lovely wow. left. Yep. Nice and stiff. Such a tough fight. Such a hard fight for Josh. Leavata is just so skillful. Yeah, there's something special about Leavata. Yeah. You can see it, I mean. Yeah. Take wow. another look at round three. <laughs> We've got three more rounds of this. <laughs> this is such an epic fight. Lovely combination from yeah, time. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. The thing is, those shots, they might not seem like they're having any effect, but they do take their toll on you. Yeah. Josh isn't a light puncher. They do take their toll on you. They wear you down, you know? They wear you down. He's so quick and so smooth and so oh, precise. Look at, that. In every, look at the that head movement beautiful. at the end of Ty's yeah. combination. Beautiful. Look really at that. Beautiful. Cracking from Ty, but yeah. then Philly Army straight, straight back, back in there. Yeah. DJ's doing a job. Yeah. Venga, boys. <laughs> yeah, he's quite heavily marked up now, Joshua Ty. Yeah. Billy Army very relaxed still. He nearly walked into an uppercut. Do you think Billy Army's potentially letting... Joshua Ty push him against the ropes and oh, wear himself if you look out at the a little Avar, bit. His nose is bleeding too now. Yeah. So that's interesting. I mean, Ty's landing. Yeah, Ty's landing. And you can see this, there's some effect of his hits now. Leovata's in a real fight. This is, this is the first time I've seen him really get tested like this. Lovely left from Ty. He's used to just having his way with his opponents. Oh, 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 oh. Nasty, eh? Everything he throws is just so powerful. So fast. He's employing the jab a little bit more in this fourth round. Yeah. I think he's trying to trying to keep Ty at bay a bit more than he's, he Ty, has done in the Ty last couple. Ty does a great job at answering every time he gets hit. Whatever it is. He just doesn't take it, does he? He just immediately throws back. Look at this. Nice. Lovely body work from yeah. Joshua Ty. Yeah, just inside, short punches. Wearing Leah Varka yeah. down. Straight back in. Yeah, doesn't muck around. Closing the distance. Yeah. Making it dirty. Making it difficult. Lovely movement Look from Leah Varka. Just freely moving just from one side smooth. to the other. Yeah, turning it into a real dog yeah. fight. <laughs> The physicality of the fighter is coming out, isn't it? Leovar is starting to look a little bit more tired on his face. He's showing yeah. it in his eyes. Yeah, you're right. Lovely He's movement. Like, what do I have to do to get this guy out of here? So we're at just past the halfway point now. <coughs> Lovely combo yeah, from Leovar. He's rising up. Oh, nice uppercut. Oh, that was a nice uppercut, right on the nose. But Josh but answers back. back. Look at that. Every time. Look at that. And look, and he's just making it a scrap. He really is. Lovely. Oh, that was a nice hook that there. Landed. That was a clean hook right on the chin there. But Leovaha is chipping away. Yeah, he is. Look, like that little that little right hand there yep. doesn't register massively for the yep. viewer, but... Oh, oh, that was a good hook from Josh. But both guys just really in this. Wow. Damn. Two yeah. rounds remaining. Oh, this is such an incredible fight. <laughs> this is outstanding. <laughs> Wow, look, look at that. that. <laughs> His hands are so heavy. Yeah. But look how Leovaha was able to evade in him. Yeah. 
Hot shot those uppercuts on the Down way back. That was yeah. beautiful. He's such a delight to watch. Yeah. He's like technique, textbook technique, 101. Absolute. Oh, wow. That was a big left hook there. I think Leo Vaha really can feel that he's in a fight. Yeah. Like, there's no shadow of a doubt that he's in a fight. He's being brought into the deep waters exactly like you said. Yeah. He's not been there before. No. Round five of six. Joshua the Jackal Tai versus Viliami Leavaha. So round five or six now. And Joshua Tai pressing forward, applying pressure. This is the thing, as an amateur, you only fight four rounds. So you're so in the big boy leagues once yeah, you hit round yeah. five. How much of that is going to factor in mentally? We'll see. Yeah, this is not where... Viliami's used to being. Yeah, that's right. And against such a tough opponent yeah, as well. Someone right. that hasn't got quit in him. Yeah, and that will look for the finish all the way through the fight. Like, will never back down. Chipping away at the body. I find it so incredible down. that he was dropped twice already. Clean drops. And now look at him here yeah. in round five. Pressuring. Still pressuring. Still very much in this fight. <sighs> that was nice. Yeah, he's just getting tagged up the way with those little little uppercuts on the inside. There we go. Leovaha breaks. Big left and then a right. Yeah, big looping right, eh? So quick. Yeah, Josh just having to block quite a lot now. Shell up by the nice bit. right hand. Ty landed one in response. Oh, that one hurt. That, that wobbled one him, him, didn't it? That one hurt him, yeah. This could be it. Yeah. Oh, oh big geez. right again. Wow. Oh. oh. The angles he can get. Yeah. I feel like he's got really good reach. Like he can just loop his shots through really nicely. Joshua Ty holding on. Yeah. Trying to weather that storm. Yeah. Nice uppercut from Josh. Yeah. Just under 40 seconds remaining. Wow. Oh, lovely combo from Josh nice. to Atai. Viliami shaking his head. Looking for that uppercut. 15 seconds remaining of this fifth yeah, round. Almost finished. Oh, big oh. counter left from Ty. Wow. And he really, that really connected clean too. Oh. Outstanding. Wow. A bloody Tiliami Liavaha. Viliami Liavaha, my apologies. Joshua the Jackal Ty. That was outstanding. He landed a big shot yeah, at the yeah, end of yeah, that yeah, round, yeah. Steve. Massive. Both bloody, both bruised, both showing signs of being in an absolute war. Yeah, this has been an absolute dogfight from both parties. I've seen some really nice boxing on display from Viliami Liavar. He's such a joy to watch. He is, he is. Absolute joy to watch. Oh, there, look at that hook. Wow. Perfectly timed. Last round now, last round. Sixth and final round. I'm putting oh, my glasses man. on, Steve. I do not want to miss a second of this. <laughs> so full respect there from both fighters. Joshua Ty forcing Viliami against the ropes. Yeah. 
applying that pressure in this sit from final round. Nice hook to the body. Billy Army pushing him away. Oh, oh nice one too. Wow. Crisp one two down the middle there. Oh. oh. Wow. When Leo Vara throws, it's just with bad, bad it intentions. Is. Joshua Ty firing straight back. Yeah, oh, look lovely at that angle change. Spun him out. Just really trying to position him to where he can take full advantage. The grit and determination in Joshua Ty and I just know. the lack of even considering wow. giving up. Oh. No. That left jab made its way through, but yeah. Joshua Ty pushing forward again, yeah. forcing Viliami into oh, the wow. ropes, into the He's corner. just really tested Leovar. He's really tested him. Oh, oh big right hand from Viliami. Massive right hand. Oh! <laughs> and Joshua wow. Ty throws one straight Leovar back. Leovar saw that coming, just deflected with the shoulder. Just over a minute remaining in this round, final round. After the knockdowns in the first two rounds, oh, yo. I never saw it going all six. This is, yeah, this is just such, this is uh, textbook Joshua Ty. Lovely double. <laughs> textbook <laughs> Ty Brothers. <laughs> One minute left in the sixth round of this absolutely phenomenal fight between Joshua Tai and Viliami Liavaha. Oh, that missed. The angles that he lands yeah. these punches from is just yeah. absolutely. Look, again he's with that. Showing what he's got. Putting on a show here. Lovely. Liavaha showing his class. Showing his calibre. Look at the movement and the footwork. Yeah. In six minutes. Wow. Uh, six rounds. Three six minutes rounds. apiece. Still, still and he's moving still moving beautifully. Like that. Look at that. Amazing head movement. Showing his, the body. Showing his skills here. Joshua Ty landing back. <laughs> Ten seconds. Let's go. And they clinch up. Billy Army just landed and about four or five wow. short uppercuts there. Wow, and wow, phenomenal. wow, wow. Phenomenal. <laughs> Ty and Leavar are really giving the crowd their money's worth here. And all you guys watching at home and around the world. Take note. Take note. Billy Army, Leavaha. Yeah. Joshua the Jackal, Ty. Just tough. Just tough. If you look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cringe and cliche, but if you look tough up in the dictionary, Joshua <laughs> Ty's picture is there. The way he was able to yeah. weather the storm throughout yeah. the entire fight, having been knocked down, not once, but twice. Fighting such a, a showman in Vili Army. And you just see it too. He gets dropped and that look in his eyes of like, there's no way I'm giving up. No. You're gonna have to absolutely take me out if you want to see me go down. That was unreal. That's, yeah, it's just so incredible. I can see a really, really bright future for Leo Vata. A young, talented man. I can't wait man. to see him fight again, Steve. He, he's so impressive to watch. He's got world, world champ written all over him. He's given up with these two warriors. Pro fighters, and what a war that was. After six rounds of pure brutality, we have a winner by unanimous decision fighting out of the blue corner.